All right, so you're so welcome to Business Focus, your weekly business and economic analysis program. This is our very first show for the year 2017, gone by as Entrepreneurs Corner. So who do we have next and what do we have next? Uh, we've got the Mover segment and my guest is Miles Awuku, he's a Chief Executive Officer of Encasa Apparel, the young man who is uh, looking very dapper. Good evening and welcome to the program. Good evening. Thank you. Miles Awuku. So what do you do? Let me, first of all, let me say good evening to your viewers and wish them a happy new year and also to Mr. Martin Oku. What I actually do is I make suits. I'm a suit maker. Oh, you're a suit maker? Yes, please. So you made those suits? Yes, please. What you're wearing? Yes, please. How long have you been doing this? A year and a half, almost two years now. Why did you decide to go into suit making? To tell you a short story, not a story, but what actually happened. I, graduate, I graduated from University of Ghana in psychology. Then, as time goes on, I used, I used to fast a lot. Fast? Yeah, as in fasting and prayers. So I fasted. I usually do that on the day I was born. That's Tuesday, I'm Kwabna. So one day, which was Tuesday, after fasting and praying, I had a call from God to go into suit making. Why would I say this? I, I was... I had the call. Now I walked to a suit maker. I asked the suit maker if I'm to learn how to make suits, how much is he going to charge me? He just told me, come, I wouldn't charge you. Come, steady, just observe what I'm doing. And we took it from there. So you understudied someone? Yes, please. Free of charge? Yes, please. Which year was this? That was 2013, 2014. 2013, 2014. And then you thought you had mastered the art of it? I'm still learning, actually. Okay. So when did you make your first official suit? When? Yeah. It was 2014 in December after registering the company in Casa Apparel. So how do you do it? I think making the suit. Mm -hmm. After studying, I just decided to... Where do you get the raw materials from? I bought it. Because whatever, whatever, when I went to the suit maker, he, he basically taught me everything. He went, he took me through everything, through the market, everywhere. I don't know, someone might say it's magic, but that's how God works and he's still working. So you buy the materials. Yeah. Where do you buy them from? Accra. You buy them from Accra. Yeah, and, and I've got someone who also supplies me. And you sew? Yeah. Okay. But let me, let me tell you why Enkasa. You know, we've, we've been through the days where suit makers or tailors disappoint. Now, Enkasa literally in our Ghanaian language means don't talk. Now, when you don't talk, something should talk, which is your outfit. That's why the name, the name came in as Enkasa. You don't talk, but the outfit does the talking. Now, in another way, I'll say your hard work should be silenced and your success should do the talking. All right, so you graduated as a psychologist and you're now a fashion designer. What else do you do apart from Inkasa? What I actually do, or what we do is, we do the charity aspect of it. Every six months, we, we try to touch lives of people, especially the orphans and the needy in the society. We've been to five orphanages already. The last one, which was just this December, this 2016, where I went with Ghanaian football player, the Black Star player, Kujar Samoa, to do the donation, and it was great. I see. So, where do you get your initial capital to do your first investment? <laughs> I would say Mr. Martin, who supported me a lot. Who's that, your dad? No, my brother, my big brother. Your big brother, yes, he supports you. Yes, please. So he supports you how much? For security reasons, I wouldn't mention. Security it. reasons? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. So, um, how do you reach out to your clients? Through social media. I most of the time do the street walks. I, I get the models, we take it to the street. Now, we've, we've, we are in the age where there's traffic in the system. So, we don't wait for the client to come. We take the suit to them. You look at it, and when you see it, you like it. Definitely, you are going to order for it. Since you told me you are taking a suit, 
You just told me that. <laughs> so what, you're bringing me a suit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So you've got a lot of people in town who are into suits. How competitive are your prices? Very moderate. Very moderate. How much do they cost? Very moderate. How much do they cost? <laughs> Very moderate. Tell me, how much do they cost? 500 CDs. 500 CDs? Yeah. In including the fabric. Including the fabric? Yes, please. So, if anybody made an order for a suit today, when, when would he get it ready? It depends. 5 to 15 working days, it should be ready. No disappointment. 5 to 15 working, working days. days Where do ready. you operate from? Jowlu. That's your own office? Yes, please. You rent it? Yes, please. How much do you pay for it? <laughs> That's 6000 Six thousand. Yeah, two fifty a month. You pay two fifty a month. So that's six thousand. You're just twenty six years old, and uh, you you're so ambitious. What are the challenges you encounter on a daily basis? So many challenges. Fabric, getting getting the fabric. Sometimes you get the fabric. The next time you wouldn't get it, it's out, and people are still ordering it. So what do you do? That's a big challenge. Electricity, that's light. Because what, what I do or what we do is basically ironing. We sew just, we stitch just a little bit of it, but the major part of it is ironing. Electricity and other things. So how many workers do you have? For now, I've got a worker. A worker? A worker. So one. you're not the kind of CEO who's seated in your office uh, giving out instructions. You're actually no. on, on, on the ground. Yes. You're sewing yourself? Self, yeah. Okay, so you're two? Yeah. And you're able to meet your deadlines? Yeah. Because that's what we do. That's, we do just suits. You know, when, when you do other stuff, and we don't do alterations, when you do other stuff, that's when you get a problem, like taking this caftans. And, but when you are specialized in one field, you deliver. No alterations. You don't go and buy and already made suit for us to alter it for you. No, it's not that we, are, we don't do that. So what are your projections for the next five years? I mean, when I want to meet Mouse Awuku in the next five years, what should I expect to see of him? You should be expecting to see the first suit factory in Ghana for myself. Have you budgeted that? Have you costed that? Do you know how much it would, it would cost you to build a factory, a suit factory? Yeah. How much did it cost you? I don't like mentioning figures. Why? You're a businessman. You should be mentioning figures. For security reasons, I, I just don't like mentioning figures. So if somebody called you and said, I, I wanted to help you set up a, a, a factory. Um, I've, got, I've got the business plan there. Mm. Everything is in place. The business plan, everything has been made already. What do your parents think of you? I mean, they sent you to school to study psychology. You graduated as a psychologist and now you're a fashion designer. What do you think about you? For to say rest in peace to my mom and dad. That's why I told you we do the charity aspect because on the, on, the, on the normal, I'm supposed to be an orphan. But through the help of people and others, my brothers and sisters, I'm not an orphan. On the normal, a, a, someone without parent is an orphan. But I never experienced that. I think my brother and my sister, they are all proud of me. So there are people out there who are hearing your story, who want to venture into entrepreneurship. They're having challenges, challenges of capital uh, and, and other challenges. What advice do you have for them? I always tell people, God is still doing wonders. God is still doing great things. You just need to keep praying and that person you know, you know what we don't we don't work to accumulate wealth. We work to feed ourselves and touch the lives of people. So the small you have, you can touch the life of someone, and through that, someone might touch your life. I don't know when I'm making sense. I'm sure the public will judge if you're making sense or not. <laughs> um, is business in Ghana worth all the struggle? all the energy, all the effort? It's worth it. Is, env you... is environment suitable? Is it, is it encouraging for people like you? Yes, please. You have no challenges at all? Because you need money, and I'm sure uh, at one point or the other, you have thought of raising capital, going to the bank to, 
to for a loan. I've, I've never thought of that going to the bank for a loan. No. That's why I, I from the beginning I told you mine was a call from God. Mine story is a bit different. That's why I told you it was a call from God. Because the normal thing when you are starting a business, what you normal what you normally go through, I didn't go through that. I was featured on Al Jazeera the eighth month when I started in Casa Aparo. I'm the face of 4G, MTN 4G network there, 4G, MTN 4G. I've been on Nasanka Delight and so many things happen through my journey. So that's why I usually say mine is a call from God. I didn't go through the normal procedure of starting a business, stress, getting capital from loans. I've, I've not even thought about loan. What do you make of government, government support to startup businesses? Um, okay, since Nanado is in, we think he should, he should. He said, well, one, one factory, one... One district? One district. So... You think a shoe factory would uh, add up to his Yeah, factories? we need to eliminate the already made suits. I'm starting a campaign in March, say no to already made or of the rack suits. We need to eliminate all those China, China of the rack suits in Ghana. Oh, you mean mine is one of them? I don't know. Okay, so... <laughs> I have did, no you, idea. did you personally make this? Yes, please. Okay. Let's get on you. Have you arrived? Or you think there's a lot more for you to achieve? A lot, a lot more. A mm -hmm. lot more for me to achieve. We need to break through to the international market. You know, we, I first learned the Enkasa Angel. I, I've got some collections. I learned the Enkasa Angel, which was made of the Angelina fabric. And it really sold. It went international. That's when I got the feature on Al Jazeera. Yeah. So you plan um, opening a lot more uh, f uh, offices? Yeah, definitely. Across the 10 regions of the country? Definitely. Going international as well? Yeah. How soon are you expecting that? In the next three to four years. Three to four years. Yeah. I'll be back here to tell my story. Oh, you'll be back here to tell your story? Yeah. Are you making plans towards that? Yeah. Miles, I've got to say a big thank you to you. Thanks for joining us in studio. Uh, Miles Aoku is the Chief Executive Officer of Enkasa Apro. He's been our guest on the Movers segment tonight, uh, telling, about, telling us about his plans and his vision for the next five years. He says he's going to open up a shoe factory. A suit uh, factory. A suit factory, I beg your pardon, which is going to add up to Nanado's uh, One District, One Factory uh, policy or program. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. And uh, Miles, thank you so much for joining us on the program. Thank you. Uh, good to have you. And I'm sure in the next five years, we'll be having another conversation uh, sure. and we'll be celebrating your, uh, your success story. Thanks so much for joining us in studio. Thank and uh, thank you also for joining us here on uh, Business Focus. This has been our very first program for the year 2017. Thank you for being with us and being a part of the show. We've got a lot more coming your way in the coming weeks. My name is Parkwis Yasari. Thanks a lot to my production team uh, led by Wendy and Francis and Nanekria Mensa Brampa and all the technical guys. I want to say a big thank you to you 2017. I hope we'll be bigger and better and all the cameramen as well. Thank you. Have a great day.